All right, so I've only ever done one other unboxing, but I like watching them sometimes. So I wanted to do an unboxing on this. This is uh, from RC Aerodyne, which uh, I bought a couple bodies from them already. Uh, I have an idea, have a project in mind. Uh, this just happened to be available through them. So this is the one I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give it a try. But I thought I would do an unboxing just to see if you guys are interested. Obviously, I haven't even taken a look at this myself. So, take a look. So this is a uh, oh, sticker's not on there. RC Aerodyne. Uh, this is a 450 size. Uh, this is the uh, the uh, AS. 350 um, it has a very unique paint scheme on it, which uh, I'm actually kind of excited about. So we got a box inside of the box, so we know that it's packed real well. This box is not sealed. Um, you guys can see that, but that's the the AS 350 scale body right there. So let's take a look. All right, we've got our packing slips and stuff in here. Huh, comes in an instruction manual. I will tell you that uh, the last two bodies I bought from them didn't come in the manual, so I guess the little bigger body, you get a little better instructions. Um, start with some of the little pieces here. We've got a tail, a couple bags here. This is just the accessory bag, comes with a bunch of you know, goodies and accessories. Um, let's take a look real quick and just see what's here. Oh, I tore the bag up. Take a look here. So we have, um, these are the stabilizers. Uh, they look like they're pretty good quality. These are just some of the little trim pieces. You know, to make it look, you know, antennas and fins and stuff, make it look really good. It looks like that's a rubber piece to go in the body of the tail. I'll pull it, uh, you know, the tail boom in there. Got some wood shims uh, that come with them. This is, uh, well, this is unfortunate, actually. This looks like the front windshield. This does not look good. Huh? So, yeah, even the paint's kind of coming off there a little bit. So it looks like we're going to have to give them a call. Uh, I've had great customer service with them before, but that is definitely broken. That is very unfortunate right there. Well, I guess that's why we do unboxings. And then this is, uh, see the rest of the side windows, this is all, this is vacuum formed and really kind of flexible. This is very, uh, very rigid. You know, the way it was sitting in there, it looks like maybe the tail might have got up against it or something. Because this is, um, this is, you know, hard fiberglass. And it was all sitting right here at the end of the box. So we'll give them a call and see what we can do about that. Uh, this is the, the landing skids. That bag looks like it was actually open and poked through a little bit. Hopefully all the pieces are there. I don't see anything else in the box. But let's get to the good part. Check out this body. Some all wrapped up in bubbles. Some tape on here. Sorry guys, we'll get into this thing though. Again, the paint and finish is just like, like amazing. Actually, it's a uh, looks good. Oh, that thing is on there. <laughs> so I think this comes apart. Does it come up? Oh, there it goes. Oh, it does. It comes out. There we go. So the helicopter can slide inside of there. It's already got mounting points and stuff inside of there. 
It's got through holes for the landing gear, it looks like, although I'm going to come up with a different little idea just so you guys know. Um, yeah, I can't miss that. It goes right in there. Look at that, though. That thing's beautiful. This is my other 450 right here. This is not going to go. This helicopter not going in there. I'm going to actually, uh, I ordered a whole new helicopter just for this project. Um, so, yeah, that's that's it, man. That's, that's the body. The tail goes on there. I'm excited, man. That thing's going to look good. All right, just a little recap. I did an unboxing. Showed you this uh, this this piece of glass right here. This is the front windshield for it. Like I said, it's busted. The paint's chipped off. Uh, it was very unfortunate in the uh, in the unboxing. However, I did uh, I received this uh, late Thursday. Um, did this video Thursday night. This is what you guys saw when I unboxed it. I gave them a call Friday morning. They're in Washington. Uh, they answered the phone right away. Uh, live person, no, no, no silly stuff. Uh, the guy went and checked. He actually has another one of these available. Um, he, before I even got off the phone, I had a tracking number. Um, he emailed me the tracking number while I was still there. Uh, it is supposed to be here Monday morning. Uh, I'm making this on Sunday. Um, just to just to put it in my unboxing video to let you know that as unfortunate as it was um, they took care of it in a blink of an eye the customer service for for rc aerodyne has been a second to none again this is my third body i've bought from them I, i'm overly impressed with the way that it's it's put together and and here um just want to make sure you guys know that they did take care of me